Welcome to the video on Tableau Server Authorization to Run. We're going to spend a few minutes today talking about the new activation method available in 2021.1 called Server ATR. This video will be helpful for anyone that installs Tableau Server or manages the licenses for your company. For those of you who have activated and installed Tableau Server in the past, we will talk about how ATR has changed some of the license activity that you are used to performing. I also will show you the tool created for the authorization to run feature that allows you to see specifics about the activation on your Tableau server. I'm Kelly Figueroa. I work for Tableau and I'm a licensing subject matter expert. Come visit me in the Tableau community and locate the topic boards for licensing to ask your desktop prep or server questions. Well, let's get started. On new installations of Tableau Server, you will see this TSM configuration activation screen, and there's a small checkbox at the bottom of the menu that says use ATR for product activation. Please note that this feature is only available with new installations of Tableau Server. We introduced this feature to help with the maximum activation error that can often occur when test machines are not deactivated before they are shut down. In addition, installations hosted in a cloud environment can become unlicensed. When this happens and you have to activate the product keys again, you can put yourself in a maximum activation scenario. When this level is reached, you know that you have to reach out to Tableau technical support in order to clear those past unused activations. ATR will handle the returns for you behind the scenes, and that's why the maximum activation should rarely occur. This new service is hosted on AWS, and Tableau Server must be online for regular ATR refreshes and check-ins. No offline activations are available with this feature. What is this new term we kick around? An ATR lease. It's an activation of a key or a set of keys on Tableau Server that takes up one of the allowed Tableau Server installations. ATR is about capacity. One copy key, you get three installations. Multiple copy keys will allow more installations. ATR will grant the license activation if there is open capacity. So let's go to the TSM user interface this is where all the activity happens for activating, deactivating, and refreshing keys. We want to talk about what's changed when server ATR has been selected. Some of the changes that you will notice if you've selected server ATR is that the ability to deactivate a license and refresh are grayed out. It's not needed to do those activities anymore when server ATR is selected. You'll also notice in this slide that I mentioned that there's no trusted storage. If you have been a customer of Tableau for any length of time, you're probably very familiar with providing trusted storage output, and that's where we store license data, to our technical support team. This file is very important for troubleshooting and also required for maximum activation cases. So ATR no longer uses tr trusted storage, so if you reach a maximum activation level, which should be very rare, Tableau technical support will let you know what files are required. Although server ATR does assist with maximum activation errors, it does not stop the server from becoming unlicensed. The server can become unlicensed when there are underlying machine changes. So the problem of the server becoming unlicensed will be handled in an upcoming release of Tableau server installations on Linux, where we use containers and ATR together to resolve that need to activate the keys again. So look for this new install option later in 2021 for Linux. Because ATR is configurable, there is a TSM license command as shown here. And I thought it might be helpful to discuss why we want to change the default lease. The default lease value is five days. If you know you'll be testing some Tableau server installation, like uh, testing sp specific versions, and then deleting the VM, setting a shorter time period such as one day or eight hours would be helpful to ensure that the activation is available on the next Tableau Server environment that you plan to stand up. So for example, if you installed Tableau Server ATR 
and you configured the duration for 24 hours. Then you destroyed the VM and it's offline. After 24 hours, those keys can be used on the next installation of Tableau Server. The lowest value that you can set this time for is four hours. So Tableau Server will not stop refreshing the activation lease if the server is stopped. So you don't need to worry if you've stopped Tableau Server for maintenance of any kind. The lease will continue to be refreshed and your server will not become unlicensed. The TSM controller and license processes both need to be stopped for the lease to stop refreshing. Let's talk briefly about the ATR Diag tool, which was made for the ATR service that we have on AWS. Let's talk briefly about the new tool to manage and view ATR activations. It's called ATR Diag. The important thing you can learn from this tool is exactly when the activation lease will end. Remember, it's getting refreshed behind the scenes, so you would expect the end of the lease to be updated periodically. The values you want to look at here when you run this command are the TTL start and the TTL end. TTL stands for time to live, and the TTL end is when your lease will expire if the VM or machine was turned off permanently. In this example, if I turned off this VM, then on May 18th, I could use the activation keys again. In this case, you can see the duration is 14 days with the start on May 4th and the end on May 18th. If you're doing testing, you probably don't want to wait 14 days to use the activation again. And for testing, you would want to lower that duration for something appropriate so that you could use the activation again on the next test VM. One thing to note with the ATR Diag tool, see the commands at the top, there is a flag for the product Tableau Server. ATR Diag was used for virtual desktop and is used for LBLM. So if you do not specify the word product in the ATR Diag tool, you'll either get an empty screen or you'll get desktop output if you have desktop installed on the same machine as Tableau Server. So it's really important when you're testing the ATR Diag tool and you're looking at your leases that you'll want to specify the product Tableau Server. All right, just a quick review, uh, ATR, uh, for server, no refreshing is needed, no deactivating your keys, there's no trusted storage, your maximum activations will go down if not be gone completely, and you can adjust that lease duration depending on your use case. So if you're used to doing a lot of testing, you can set that value low and you will not have to worry about a maximum activation. Information is available in the Tableau Online Help for Tableau Server ATR. We also have a community blog specific to the server ATR and information about that that could help you with some troubleshooting if you have questions. And then of course, come to the community, the topic page 2021.1 or the topic licensing and ask questions about ATR Diag or server ATR and we're glad to assist you. Thanks and I hope this video was helpful.